Hey everyone, and welcome to Snapshot 14W32A. So again, Mojang has added another new snapshot, and this time, it's really, really cool. Like, this is super cool. Uh, the main attraction in this snapshot, as you can tell, is the beacon added function thing. So uh, the basic gist is, if you now add colored uh, stained glass, so any, any kind of stained glass, you know, you got uh, cyan all the way to, like, white or black, I think, uh, you have a lot. It's basically you have lime, brown, uh, pink, cyan, black, lime, yellow, orange, red, and you can make like rainbow beacons. It's super super cool. And uh, since beacons can flow through glass, they take on the color of the glass, and then it kind of like combines the colors. Like you can see uh, the blue and the orange kind of make a little pinkish kind of like it's really really cool. I had a lot of fun playing around with this. Um, I was trying to make a rainbow, but it didn't work out too well because there's just so many colors, but it's really, really cool. Uh, you know, you can probably like, decorate your worlds in survival with like super cool beacons. So, you know, instead of the regular just like white beacon, clear beacon, uh, you can now have multicolored beacons. It's not going to power up because there's no uh, iron blocks under it. But yeah, this is super, super cool. I really, really like this addition. I think they're going to be switching it to make the colors a little bit better since it's kind of weird right now, the colors. But either way, it's really, really cool. You can get colors that aren't even, like, naturally in the game, like, uh, maybe, like, this peachish color, and then, like, this really dark color, or this color, like, just super, super cool. Uh, yeah, you got a nice, nice rainbow, and, it, and they do work. The beacons do work, so, you know, you can still power it up and stuff. It's just the color itself has changed. Uh, next up is armor stand. So, uh, previously, you can only get armor stands in, uh, like, Hexen, I think, or, like, with mods. Uh, with mods, you can only get armor stands. Now they're actually in the game. I don't believe there's a crafting table for them just yet. Uh, yeah, I think they just released the actual stand, so not no no crafting recipes just yet. Uh, but it does what an armor stand's supposed to. You can put your armor on it, and then you can take it back off. So if I put one here, and then we'll just grab like some random pieces of armor. If I put this on, it actually takes it away from me, even in creative mode. And then I can actually get it back by just right-clicking it. You know, right-clicking it, and with an empty hand, and then you get the get the armor back. So it's really cool. You can decorate decorate like your base or whatever with all the different kinds of armor. It works with enchanted armor as well. So you know, it'll just be glowing here, and you can like mix and match all your armors. You can do full sets, and they also work with mob heads. Uh, I don't know why the skeleton head's not actually working, uh, but you can you can do creeper heads. You can do pumpkins. Uh, you can do zombies. It is a little weird, like, you can kind of walk through them right now, which is, I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that, since they are blocks, but, yeah, I, I guess it is, you know, 14W32A, so, wait, what the heck? Huh, that's odd, it didn't work before, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, that's odd, it didn't work before, like, I placed it down, and it was just a black block, but anyway. Yeah, so those are armor stands. Again, I don't think there's a crafting recipe, but, either way, this is really, 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 really cool, uh, you know, it's like, it adds a sense of the mod into it, you know? And then you can also put mod heads, which are super rare, so you can, like, display them to, to your heart's consent. Uh, so there's a couple more blocks, about five more blocks. Uh, they added red sandstone. So, I think a couple snapshots back, they added red sand, uh, which looks like this, if you didn't know by now. And now you have red sandstone, uh, chiseled red sandstone, uh, what is that, smooth, uh, the stairs, and the slabs. So this is what they look like. Uh, you got the chiseled one here, you got kind of, I think, wait, I don't know, this is just the sandstone. This is the chiseled one, the smooth one, uh, the slabs, and the stairs. So, it basically just looks like the regular sandstone blocks, and you got the smooth sandstone, which looks like this one. You got the chiseled one, you got the regular sandstone, the slabs, and the stairs. So, I'm actually really, really uh, content with this, uh, this snapshot. It, it doesn't add too much. It's not like the uh, the Guardian one where it added like a whole new dungeon and whatever. But this is really, really cool. Like, you can tell that Minecraft is going somewhere. This is cool. This is really, really cool. You can have a lot of fun playing around with this. I did, I think this is 21. 21 beacons. It's a 7x3. And I, I changed the colors only three times. And you can change it all the way up. So, before I end it off, I'm just going to grab like a lime one. You can continue to build this up. Like, it can go as high as you want. And you can just have a whole different array of colors all the way up. Um, but just as a, like, a warning, any block you place, or, or like the last block you place is what color 
the beacon's gonna be. So because this lime one was the last one, the last color is kind of greenish. If the last one is kind of bluish magenta-ish, it'll kind of be that color, uh, depending on what this block is. So uh, if that makes any sense whatsoever, this first one was yellow, so any beacon thing above it is yellow. And then I put a blue one. So blue and yellow combined gives you a little greenish color. And then the green combined with this grayish one gives you a little turquoise -ish color type of thing. And with this one, you have a red one combined with orange. So you get a lighter red combined with pink and you get a really weirdish pink color. So that's how it works. It's kind of like, you know, your colors from elementary school or whatever. It's like just mixing a bunch of colors together. It's really, really cool. So uh, that is Snapshot 14W32A. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Uh, you can check it out again by just going to your launcher and editing the profile and clicking snapshot. But uh, be careful, don't actually launch it in your uh, survival world or whatever because it could corrupt the world. And unless you have a backup, you could potentially lose all the items you've uh, worked for in that world. So just a heads up, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>